Hi, I'm Tim Dowd, and we're here at New York Comic Con, and I am here with the writer, director, as well as some of the cast of Vixens of Virtue, Vixens of Vice. And I'd like to talk to you folks about this project. Why don't you tell, for people who don't know the show, tell them a little bit about it. Sure, it's a real campy, low-budget superhero show, kind of like uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer meets Brady Bunch and a little Batman TV series thrown in. Okay. And, girl, how have you, uh, how have you come to be part of the project? Uh, well, I came to be part of it through auditioning a few years ago, and uh, I was picked for the part of Sweet Frost, and it's just been great ever since. It's Everybody's really close, and we have fun, and it's just a really awesome experience, especially if you're a comic book nerd like me. <laughs> uh, my name is Crystal Chow. I actually came in as a ninja extra, actually, and love the girls, hit it off with Rob, and I love the show. It's a lot of fun. It's got ninjas, it's got robots, it's got everything you want in a show. So I'm actually coming up in season three, but I can't tell you whether I'll be virtue or vice. It'll be up to you to figure out. Um, but stay tuned, and you'll see us there. A mystery unfolds here on The Take. So how, uh, this is now the third season you guys are embarking on the show. Yep. Um, you've been going on for quite a while, and apparently you just got a distribution deal. Yes, we did. We lucked out with a music video distribution and they were uh, kind enough to sign us up, and it's been wonderful. It's been a game changer, really, for us. All right, well, very, congratulations on that. Now, what, uh, what was really the start of this? Where is the, where is the kernel of the idea that it was like, I need to make, first of all, how do you say the title? Vixens of Virtue, Vixens of Vice, or yep, it's just, it. okay. Yep. Uh, it really started when uh, Buffy came off of TV, and I saw a big gap where there wasn't any like female empowerment shows on to take its place. Mm -hmm. And I had looked back on things I had done in the past and found some of these characters and decided to flesh it out. And because of our low budget constraints, I made it very campy and fun. And when I say low budget, I mean guys in cardboard robot suits. But very talented and beautiful actresses. So it balances out and it's a good time. Right. Well, most of the budget has to go to the girls' costumes, not to like the guy robots, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Makes It's, you know what? You're a businessman. It's very good. <laughs> If you would, uh, for people who don't know the show, how would you, your character I understand is very secret, but Caitlin, how would you describe your s sweet Frost, I believe her name? Sweet Frost. Um, well, she's a very sweet girl, kind of timid. Um, she's very loving towards her sisters. She really just wants to help out in the crime fighting world and do her part, but her powers kind of damage her a lot of the time. Um, so that hurts her a little bit, but uh, she's also got kind of a dark side, but I won't give anything away. And uh, she's a really full, um, deep character to play. All right. Now, I'm sure you guys have heard Charlie's Angels is back, yeah. ripping you off a little bit. <laughs> hmm? I, I think it, they're opening up the possibility of Vixens making it onto network TV someday soon. And is that something you're pursuing or going for? Or? Well, you know, it started on the Internet. I wanted a distribution deal. We got that. Next up, cable TV. Here we come, hopefully. So if you're listening and you can make it happen, sci-fi channel oh yeah all the way absolutely it would be a dream in that case so <laughs> sci-fi channel you know spike tv so I, oh, that would actually work um all right <laughs> so until that day happens where can people find the vixens um you can order it on amazon.com at your uh, local comic book retailer store best buy target barnes and noble all those wonderful stores or you can come to your local comic book convention because we'll be there all right fantastic any last words for the folks at home uh, stay true to your dreams and uh, pursue them relentlessly. Absolutely. Uh, be true to yourself. If you're a nerd, embrace it because that's what's going on in the industry right now. Um, just love what you do and enjoy what you do. I agree. Love what you do. Throw some kicks in your everyday life. Nunchucks are always good. And I always like to leave with a big hi. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I was going to sign out, but I don't know if I could top that. But anyway. I'm Tim Dowd, this is Rob, the writer-director, Caitlin Rospotit, and... Crystal Chow. Crystal Chow, and these are the Vixens, and we are on the take. <laughs>